Hi, my name is Mike Riscala. I'm CEO and co-founder of Snorble. So Mike, what are you showing here at Toy Fair? Uh, we are showing Snorble. So what is Snorble? Uh, Snorble is a smart companion for children. It's an animated character that's been brought to life to inspire children. And through that inspiration, we do things that are good for them. It's a full system, though. It's a full educational system, but it's an educational system that's based on the ABCs and 123s, uh, social emotional health, healthy habits, and also spiritual and faith based content. So, this is a robot with an app companion, correct? That's right. And it's actually, um, it's actually a, a, a smart device that is completely offline uh, it, and it connects to other things as part of a whole connected storyline. How does this product differ from other products out there that help routines and growth development? It takes a lot of the friction away from routines that are generally hard for parents and kids together, especially when you're tired or when you need things to happen. And it makes it enjoyable for both the parent and the child to go through those things. Like bathroom time, bedtime. Bathroom time, bedtime in general, pajama time, uh, teeth brushing, all those type things. Now your robot's pretty unique. Talk about some of the features in it. We talked a little bit about the projection technology you have in it yesterday. Yeah. So we have our own proprietary display, uh, which actually removes all the blue light uh, from, from, the, from the face. And uh, what that does is it takes away all the negative cognitive stimulus. Everything in Snorble is good. We tried to design and create the product to be good for children at its core and good for families at its core. That's part of our, part of our whole push. And so talk about like how the child will interact with Snorble. You have lights and sounds as well as audio commands as well. Yeah, so, so children can actually talk to Snorble. Snorble will interact with them. Snorble will also remember the things that the child is having difficulty with and then help the child through those things later on, right? Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that we also have the Lullapod. The Lullapod is actually its charging station, but it's also its amphitheater. We believe that by taking experiences that we already love from concerts, theaters, and amusement parks and bringing them into the home, it gives us an opportunity to really uh, leverage things that, uh, that we already know are great and wonderful for children and then also uh, really bringing that magic into the, into the house. Yep. So what are some of the challenges when you're trying to get into a, a, a market targeted for adults to buy, but essentially works with children? Well, you know, a lot of it is, is that this is a very robust system. And trying to explain all that to in a few <laughs> sentences is really hard. And that's been a big challenge for sure. Uh, but one of the things that's really great is, is that when children actually start to use Snorable and when they interact with Snorable, they're totally, totally in love with it. And that really makes it a lot easier. The minute that the minute that parents see their kids actually engage with it, they're hooked. Everyone's hooked. Yeah. So talk a little bit about like how it works with the, the child and how the parent works with the app to kind of, because you, you mentioned that the robot develops with the child for multiple age ranges as they mature. Yeah. The robot and programs also mature. Yeah. So we it's a, it's a life cycle product. It's not a product that's meant to be for a few months. It actually grows with the child. Uh, we're actually launching with content for two to five years old, but then we're going to age down to baby and then age up to nine. And the idea is, is that we basically go through all the developmental milestones for all the different things I mentioned, like healthy habits, uh, you know, so imagine like it helping the child clean their room or make their beds or do those type things. And then also things around education, so learning their ABCs and 123s or shapes or colors. And then also show some emo social emotional health like meditation or yoga. Those are all baked into the, into the program. And as the child advances and their knowledge advances, uh, basically through the companion app, the parent can graduate them from stage to stage. And when they graduate, Snorbel celebrates them. Snorbel celebrates the kid at every chance it gets in order to create that positive motivation and also to encourage them through those developmental milestones. We live in a world with Facebook and Google like to take your data, track it, and sell it to third parties, but we talked about this yesterday. Yours doesn't do that. We absolutely will not do that. Our whole goal is to do only good for the parents and the family, and that is not a good thing for anybody. So the way that we look at it is, is that the parents actually own their data. We actually don't take any data in a way that we have any um, understanding of who it is. We try to keep everything separate and safe for everybody. Um, and then all we do is we train our system uh, with an abstracted data layer, and that creates a sense of privacy and, and control. Yeah. So what's the biggest hurdle you had to go through when working with, when, with robotics in 2023 specifically? I know the product was designed before that, probably multiple variations, yeah. but... Well, one of the things is, is that there's a general, well, actually right now, especially with all the new technology that's out around AI, there's a, there's a general fear because there's no guardrails in a lot of that, a lot of that cal based technology. So what we did was we really focused on creating a controlled system. We don't have any external uh, sources coming in. It's all controlled within our system. And in order, and, and that actually helps us in a way because it gives us an opportunity to kind of um, only put good things out 
and have only vetted content for those families. Yeah. So where can people find more information about Snorbel? Uh, www.snorbel.com.